Hello, today we would like to talk about the circular flow diagram. So this circular flow diagram will tell you why GDP will equal to income equal to expenditure. So before we talk about the circular flow diagram, there is two concepts we need to understand. The first is factors of production. So factors of production mean some inputs such as labor, capitals, and natural resources or land, okay? And another one is factor payments. So factor payments means the payments to the factors of production. For example, if you offer your labor, your work in the market, then your employer need to pay your wages, right? If you rent your house, then you can also receive rent. So those we call them as factor payments. And in, in the circular flow diagram, there is two participants, okay? The first one is household. So household, they owe factors of production. They have their labors, they have their house, they have their land or capitals. They can sell them for income. And on the other hand, households will also buy and consume goods and services. Another participant is firms. So firms, they can buy and hire those factors for production and then use those factors of production to produce goods and services. And also firms or corporations, they will sell goods and services. Okay, now let's talk about how to draw this circular flow diagram. We assume there is two participants, right? So we have households. I will have household here. So for households, they will offer their labor, land, and capital, right? And we have another participant, which is firm. So we have firms here. We have household here. We have firm here. Then we also have two markets, okay? The first market here is market for, this is a Sorry, this is my girl's colorful pen. So, this is a market of factors of production. So, this is this means the markets of factors of production. I will use a oval shape, okay, of this one represents for the map markets of factors of production. And as far as we know, households, they offer, households, they offer their, maybe their labor here, okay? Maybe their land here, okay? To this markets of production. And firms, they use, they buy those factors of production, okay? So firms, they buy, or hire those land or labors, right? Etc. Okay. And in returns, firms need to pay wages or rent, right? So in returns, we notice firms they need to pay wages or rent, right? And those will become the income of households, okay? So here we have this income will equal to GDP if we only have two participants in this market, okay? Firms and corporations, once they have factors of production, what can they do? They can use those factors of production to produce goods and services, right? So we have another market here. So this is another market. This is the market for goods and services, okay? So for firms and corporations, once they have their factors of production, they can produce goods and services, right? And then they can sell those goods and services in this market, right? And for households, they will buy those 
goods and services. Okay, they will buy those goods and services, and households cannot use those goods and services for free, right? So households, sorry, households need to pay money, right? So this will be their spending. They need to pay money to buy goods and services. So the spending here will also equal to GDP if there is only two participants. Okay, and then those. Spending will become the revenue for firms. Okay, so from this easy circular circular flow diagram, we can notice GDP would equal. So here we notice GDP would equal income, equal to spending, and equal revenue. Okay, so I will just write it down here. GDP will equal to income equal to expenditure. Okay, 